You know, to those who have no biblical understanding or what Christianity is really about, the Bible may seem to them as boring, uneventful, and just a set of rules. But for those who have actually read the Bible, we see how action-packed it is and how it's able to explain the unexplainable. Now, biblical events are happening at rapid speed, and nobody seems to know why. But for those who have been in their word, we know exactly what's happening. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, Content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. This gigantic sea creature that the Bible warned us about was just spotted on Google Earth. In Isaiah 27 1, the Bible details about a giant serpent sea creature named Leviathan that will continue to roam the sea until the end time judgment of God. Now make no mistake, the word of God is detailing about a literal serpent sea creature. It's not merely just a metaphor. Although Leviathan has been alluded to metaphors of pride, there are multiple biblical accounts that document him as an actual living creature. In the word of God, we see more detail about this creature named Leviathan. In that day, the Lord with his hard and great and strong sword will punish Leviathan the fleeing serpent, Leviathan the twisting serpent, and he will slay the dragon that is in the sea. So we learn here that Leviathan continues to roam the sea until the day of the Lord commences. God also tells us in Job 41 that this creature is untamable, frightening to look at, undefeatable with any weapon, and can only be destroyed by God himself. Here is the full description in Job 41 about the details of this satanic sea creature. Can you draw out Leviathan with a fish hook or press down his tongue with a cord? Can you put a rope in his nose or pierce his jaw with a hook? Will he make many pleas to you? Will he speak to you soft words? Will he make a covenant with you to take him for your servant forever? Will you play with him as a bird or will you put him on a leash for your girls? Will traders bargain over him? Will they divide him up among the merchants? Can you fill his skin with harpoons or his head with fishing spears? Lay your hands on him. Remember the battle. You will not do it again. Behold, the hope of a man is false. He is laid low even at the sight of him. No one is so fierce that he dares to stir him up. Who then is he who can stand before me. Who has first given to me that I should repay him? Whatever is under the whole heaven is mine. I will not keep silence concerning his limbs, or his mighty strength, or his goodly frame. Who can strip off his outer garment? Who would come near him with a bridle? Who can open the doors of his face? Around his teeth is terror. His back is made of rows of shields, shut up closely as with a seal. One is so near to another that no air can come between them. They are joined one to another. They clasp each other and cannot be separated. His sneezings flash forth light, and his eyes like the eyelids of the dawn. Out of his mouth go flames torches, sparks of fire leap forth. Out of his nostrils come forth smoke, as from a boiling pot and burning rushes. His breath kindles coals, and a flame comes forth from his mouth. In his neck abides strength, and terror dances before him. The folds of his flesh stick together, firmly cast on him and immovable. His heart is as hard as a stone, hard as the lower millstone. When he raises himself up, the mighty are afraid. At the crashing they are beside themselves. Though the sword reaches him, it does not avail, nor the spear, the dart, or the javelin. He counts iron as straw, and bronze as rotten wood. The arrow cannot make him flee. For him, sling stones are turned to stubble. Clubs are counted as stubble. He laughs at the rattle of javelins. His underports are like sharp potsherds. He spreads himself like a threshing sledge on the mire. He makes the deep boil like a pot. He makes the sea like a pot of ointment. Behind him, he leaves a shining wake. One would think the deep to be white-haired. On earth, there is not his like, a creature without fear. He sees everything that is high. He is king over all the sons of pride. God detailed the magnitude of how powerful this satanic sea creature was that was not merely just folklore in Jewish culture, but an actual documented creature that the Jews and other cultures were very well aware of. The purpose of revealing this to Job was simple. God was showing him, hey, look, I'm in control. I created this thing, and I can destroy it, and no one else can destroy it. Now, here's where it starts to get very creepy. Recently, people started noticing on Google Earth that a large formation of what looked like a giant sea creature started appearing and actually displaying movement. On top of this, an anomaly bigger than ever reported before was being detected sending off mass alerts, which was leading many to believe that some giant sea creature in the earth was awakened. The anomaly was actually reported to be bigger than the entire state of Texas. And as somebody who lives in Texas, that means a lot because this state is massive. You can literally drive 10 hours from one part of Texas, and by the end of the drive, you will still be in Texas. Even in cities like Houston, you can fit the entire country of Armenia inside the city 
of Houston. Not the state of Texas, but just one city. So Texas is absolutely massive, which means an anomaly bigger than this entire state is absolutely insane, which is what caused many to believe that this could be a monstrous sea creature. Strange activity was also being reported from other sea creatures as massive amounts of whales were swimming to the shores, unaliving themselves due to some unknown fear. This whale incident occurred in Australia and it even made the local news. Usually when animals start acting strange, that's when you know something biblical is occurring. As the biblical end times are approaching, strange activity is going to continue to occur because God is allowing this so his people would wake up and repent to his only son, Jesus Christ, so that their eternal souls don't perish but receive eternal life. The Bible spoke about these events long ago and this is God's final warning before immense judgment is poured out on the entire world. Now is not the time to play games with God because God is not playing games with this world at all. For those who are in Jesus Christ and abiding in him and him and you, keep up the good fight keep up the race because you are witnessing a pivotal moment in time right now. Supernatural things are going to continue to occur, but this goes to show us who is really on the throne and his name is Jesus Christ. And if you haven't put your faith and trust in him, I highly recommend that you do so right about now because today is the day of salvation. If you believe in God's sovereign power, I want you to comment down below, Leviathan will be crushed. If you guys would like to financially support the ministry, I have an offering link that's in the description and I also have merch that's also linked in the description. Or you can become a YouTube channel member, which I allows you to have certain perks here on the YouTube channel. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out.